Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week we are in Lavella Bridal in Los Angeles, California, discussing a subscriber requested topic on what type of necklaces to wear with a wedding dress. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, let me know if there is a particular topic you'd like me to create a video on. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer here at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. And don't forget to hit that follow button on TikTok, at Lavella Bridal, and at Wedding Fashion Expert as well. This week's video topic was requested by a subscriber. Bunny wrote in asking if I could please make a video on what kind of necklace to wear based on various necklines. She bought a strapless off-the-shoulder dress with a sweetheart neckline and has no idea what length necklace to wear. I specifically chose this dress. This is a Berta gown that was designed with a neck piece that a bride could choose to wear with her dress if she wanted to. Of course, I'm going to show you other necklaces, but I thought that this was exactly the neckline that Bunny was mentioning, and this dress is designed with a neck piece that a bride could consider to wear down the aisle or even the after party. And this is something that I wanted to talk about. When it comes to necklaces, if you've watched previous videos I've made on my channel, I usually recommend for accessories for the bride is something in your hair, whether it's a headpiece or a veil, earrings, I typically recommend long earrings to really frame your face I also recommend no necklace. So my rule of thumb, typically speaking, is something in the hair, veil, headpiece, or even a side piece of some kind, and no necklace, earrings, bracelet. So headpiece, earrings, bracelet, whether the headpiece is a headpiece or a veil, either or vice versa, or both. So why do I recommend no necklace? My main reason for saying to not wear a necklace is because to wear stud earrings, which is what I have on, you can see from a distance that the stud earrings don't really show. And I do have them showing right now, but if I were to wear my hair down where I'd be covering my earrings, you will barely see them as they peek out. So that's why I recommend a longer earring. And if you're doing a longer earring, a bare neck is usually what makes the most sense and another thing that I consider is when you wear something on your head, whether it's the veil or the headpiece, that takes the place of where the necklace would go. So when you are considering styling your look, while yes, those are that's sort of my formula that I'm sharing with you, it does not mean that that is what you have to do. I encourage you to play around with the different ways in which you can style your dress and see what resonates with you, what excites you. I am going to show you this particular look. We're going to throw on some long earrings. I'm going to show you a headpiece. We're going to do a veil so that you could see the full look if you did this type of a neck piece. And then I'm going to show you a necklace. So the whole point of this video is to tell you that while yes, I have a formula that I like to kind of follow for bridal accessorizing, each bride is so unique and I have styled brides with necklaces and so I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of that overall look that will hopefully help you style your look for wedding day. Another reason why I chose this dress in particular is because it has a lot of detail. So I wanted you to see if I could style with all the detail in the world and the sleeves for you. You can style anything the same way if not even more detailed with a dress that has a lot less going on. And in terms of shape of gown, it does not matter the shape of gown that you're doing with the accessories. Accessories are your opportunity to personalize your look 
to make it feel like you. So if wearing a long earring does not resonate with you and you are a stud person, have at it. It's just not going to be in photos and maybe that's okay with you. So it's really no big deal. There's no right or wrong here, but I'm just going to give you some examples so you can see what I would encourage you to consider, to explore and try on and see what resonates. Giving you all the detailed options with this veil, you can always scale it back and do a completely plain raw edge veil with no detail at all. But I'm really giving you the most detailed stuff for you to consider and then you could scale it back if you wanted to. So here's the look with the neck piece, keeping the earrings simple for now. We're going to add a headpiece on top of this and then transition to a long earring as well so that you can see how all of this comes together. We've added the headband and earrings to match by Maria Elena Headpieces and as you can see this complements really, really beautifully in my opinion. Going to take the neck piece off so that you could see this look without the neck piece and then I have a little surprise in store for you. This headband also doubles as a necklace. So we are going to see it without the neck piece with the headband on and then I'm going to put the headband on as a necklace so you could really see all the different looks that you could have when accessorizing this dress. Here it is without the neck piece. As you can see, that is so elongating and it just creates such a beautiful story. Keep in mind, you'll also have a bouquet. So when you have the neck piece, the bouquet, something in the hair, there's a lot of components happening. So this really is a great option. And then when you decide to take off the veil, I love that the headpiece gets to remain and you still have something in your hair that goes all the way around and is seen on the dance floor from all different angles. I took that exact headband from my head and put it on my neck and that's it's really cool that it actually can be a headpiece and a necklace so it gives you an opportunity to be able to wear it after wedding day, you could go to someone else's wedding and wear your headpiece as a necklace. You can also change the length of it. So to answer Bunny's question on what length of a necklace you should wear, that is completely individual to your proportions in terms of the amount of chest from the top of the dress. I have a rather long neck. So honestly, everybody's proportions are different and the dress proportions are different. So that is extremely personal trial and error, try it on and figure it out. But here is kind of what I'm getting to if you're wearing something on your head, your, your earrings, your necklace, your bouquet, and the dress. There's definitely a lot of components going on, especially with the sleeve. Not necessarily a bad thing, a good thing. It is your personal preference. That is the beauty of fashion and why I love what I get to do. It is a form of art. Anything goes, and this is entirely your opportunity to express your fashion style on wedding day in the way that you want to look and feel. Most importantly, it's all about how you feel. So go with the options that make you feel beautiful and want to marry your person in. As I mentioned, I do have my standard things that I recommend in terms of a headpiece, a longer earring, bare neck, bracelet a bracelet is a beautiful component as well i'm wearing long sleeves if your dress does not have long sleeves it's a beautiful detail to wear a bracelet on your right wrist and you have your engagement ring and wedding band on your left hand great little detail for cutting the cake drinking champagne to have a little bit of sparkle on both hands and wrist, so to speak. Last but not least, of course, you could opt for a tennis necklace that would just be a little bit more simple than what I have on as well. But keep in mind, the smaller the pieces, the less likely it is going to show up on camera. As you see, I am from a distance. These pieces look much larger in person when I'm staring at myself in a mirror versus seeing it from a distance. So on wedding day, it's a little bit like being on stage where everything is a little bit more dramatic. Anytime dancers are on stage, they're wearing larger earrings, more blingy stuff so that it's visible to the audience from a distance. The same thing applies on your wedding day. I hope you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like these, tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.